The journey to the edge, the long, unbroken journey to the very rim of our cosmic home. For more than four decades, Voyager 2 has drifted steadily outward, slipping farther and farther from the comforting warmth of our sun. It moved past the familiar giants of our solar system, one after another, a silent traveler navigating the vast ocean of interplanetary space. It glided beyond the frozen frontier of the Kuiper Belt, entering territory that once lived only in the imagination of astronomers, regions uncharted, unknown, and profoundly alien. Launched in 1977, during an era when computers were slower than the simplest phones we carry today, Voyager 2 was never expected to last this long. Its mission was bold yet narrowly defined. Scientists believed its instruments would eventually grow weak. They believed its power supply would dim to nothing. They believed its faint signal would vanish into the void, swallowed by billions of kilometers of emptiness. Voyager 2 was expected to fall silent. To become just another relic, forgotten and drifting through the cold. And yet, against every prediction, it endured. It kept whispering back to us across the darkness, steady, faint, but unmistakably alive. But recently, those whispers changed. They shifted in tone, in rhythm, in meaning. They made scientists pause, recalibrate, rethink. Because Voyager 2 had reached something extraordinary. It had crossed the true boundary of the solar system, a frontier long theorized but never experienced. It confirmed a truth that few dared to speak aloud. The edge of the solar system is not a soft blur. It is a boundary. A wall. And beyond that wall lies a realm entirely different from our own. This invisible threshold is called the heliopause, the point where the sun's influence ends, where the gentle push of the solar wind finally surrenders to the raw, untamed forces of the galaxy. For decades, scientists imagined this transition as delicate and gradual, like mist fading slowly into open air. They believed the solar wind would slowly weaken until it blended seamlessly into the galactic environment. Voyager 2 shattered those expectations completely. The change was abrupt, sharp, almost violent. As though the spacecraft had pierced a cosmic membrane dividing two worlds. One moment, Voyager drifted within the protective bubble of the heliosphere. The next, it was thrust into an unfamiliar realm, a realm humanity had never measured or touched. Its sensors recorded astonishing spikes in cosmic radiation, surging by more than 70%. Plasma density rose sharply. Magnetic fields spiraled into unexpected formations that no model had predicted. Crossing the helipause was not like drifting into emptiness. It was like stepping through a doorway into a storm. The heliosphere, once thought to be an abstract bubble, revealed itself as something real, dynamic, almost alive. Inside, the galaxy's violent chaos is softened and held at bay. Outside, the chaos becomes the ocean itself, turbulent, unpredictable, and dangerous. For the first time, humanity understood that we are not drifting unprotected. We are wrapped in a delicate, shifting shield, a barrier separating us from forces we barely comprehend. Voyager showed us something else, the heliosphere breathes. It expands and contracts in rhythm with the sun's 11-year cycle. When the sun is active, the bubble grows. When it quiets, the bubble shrinks, letting cosmic radiation creep ever closer to Earth. Even more surprising, the heliosphere is not symmetrical. Galactic winds stretch it like a comet's tail, twisting its edges into strange, distorted shapes. Our protective shield, once assumed to be perfect, is fragile, and far more Beyond the helipause, an unfamiliar realm then came the discoveries beyond the boundary, revelations unlike anything expected. In 2019, after more than 40 years of faithful communication, Voyager 2 suddenly went silent. Its systems froze. Its transmissions stopped. 
For hours, engineers feared the spacecraft had finally succumbed to the cold vacuum of interstellar space. Then, without warning, it woke up. Instruments rebooted. Its signal returned, faint but clear. Voyager had survived once again. Official explanations pointed to aging hardware or software glitches. But deep within the raw data, hidden beneath technical reports, were anomalies that didn't fit the narrative. Unexplained bursts of high-energy particles. Brief, intense spikes in electromagnetic activity. Sudden distortions in the magnetic field recorded moments before the blackout. Some scientists whispered about stranger possibilities. Perhaps Voyager drifted into an unknown region of energized plasma. Perhaps it brushed against the fading remains of a distant supernova. Or perhaps, though no one dares to say it loudly, it encountered something entirely new. Whatever the cause, one truth became clear. Interstellar space is not silent. It is alive with storms, waves, pulses, and energy fields more dynamic than anything inside the solar system. Voyager recorded fluctuations in radiation rising and falling like ocean tides. Waves of high-energy particles sweeping across its path. Magnetic fields twisting violently, as though shaped by unseen forces in the dark. For the first time in history, humanity witnessed space weather beyond the solar system. But the strangest discovery came next, a mysterious magnetic alignment. Scientists expected the sun's magnetic field and the galaxy's magnetic field to collide chaotically at the boundary. Instead, they found them aligned, synchronized, almost shaped to fit together with impossible precision. This revelation opened two sweeping possibilities. The sun has spent millions of years sculpting the galactic magnetic field around it. Our solar system was born in a region of space already aligned, structured, intentional. If the first possibility is true, the Sun is more powerful than we ever imagined, capable of altering the galaxy itself. If the second is true, then our cosmic neighborhood may not be random at all. A quiet question began circulating through the scientific community. What if the helipause is not just a boundary? What if it reacts to what crosses it, perhaps even monitors it? The radiation spikes. The magnetic shifts. The sudden synchronization. All hinted that the boundary might act like a cosmic checkpoint, a threshold with behavior, not just physics. And consider what Voyager carries with it. The golden record, a golden-plated disc filled with Earth's sounds, greetings, and a star map pointing directly to our home. A message declaring, we are here. If the boundary is reactive, what did we reveal by sending a map through it? Today, Voyager 2 drifts deeper into the unknown, its signal faint but persistent. It carries not only measurements, but our voice, our identity, into a realm we barely understand. It has shown that the galaxy beyond the heliosphere is structured, active, and profoundly dangerous. It has shown that our cosmic shield is fragile, dynamic, and alive. And as the little probe sails farther into the darkness, one question echoes across the void. Will Voyager 2 remain merely an explorer? Or, by carrying its golden message across the threshold, has it become something far